Welcome to episode 369 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Burton, Apartment Hacker. This is my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. So we've taken a little bit of a break from scaling up excellence in our business. Um, and we're going to get back to that today. And we're into chapter number four of the book, Scaling Up Excellence. Uh, chapter number four, I believe, is titled uh, Cut the Cognitive Load. And in essence, that means... When you, when you tax the mind too much, whether it be through uh, the volume of activity or the volume of tasks um, or uh, you get too many people on your team that you, uh, you can't really, you spread yourself too thin, um, you just get overloaded cognitively, you become less effective. And... I know that sounds like a very obvious statement, but it's so obvious that all of us do it, right? <laughs> we all get to the point where we're overloaded cognitively and you couple that up with a lack of sleep, you couple that up with a lack of exercise uh, and couple it up with an overall lack of health, right? And you really compound the problem. And so what what's scaling up excellence in chapter four is... Uh, discussing what it's implying is we have to figure out how to cut the cognitive load in order to help ourselves be more effective in our work. So I started thinking through things that you could uh, potentially put in place. One of the examples in the book is that, uh, and it, it, it's germane to the size of your team, if uh, you have a team that is larger than the ability to feed it lunch with just two pizzas, uh, your team's too big. If you need three or four or five pizzas to feed your team, then your team's too big. So one of the big takeaways, one of the brief takeaways here is just make sure your organization is uh, structured such that you have the space, the cognitive space to actually take time to think through systems processes. In other words, you have time to work on your business instead of your business working on you. Uh, and you do that by making sure that you have the right people in place so that, and you're delegating the right way. An example came up just the other day where uh, I was listening to some market phone calls and in one of the calls uh, I had a, a director, a high level person um, suggesting to their team that they were going to send them a bunch of ideas. And I thought to myself, why would you go through the the cognitive effort of creating a bunch of ideas as a director, a high-level director, high-level uh, leader in our organization, when uh, the person that you're giving those ideas to should come up with those ideas and give them to you. And then you can an analyze those ideas. You can uh, respond to those ideas. You can react to those ideas, but you're not taking the mental power to come up with the ideas. Um, in my mind, you... At a high level, you're thinking strategically. You're not thinking in the weeds. That's what you hire good people for. So um, over the course of chapter four, we're going to talk in brief. We'll go through chapter four pretty quickly. Uh, how do we reduce the cognitive load? Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.